the war between Russia and Ukraine has entered a new phase. Every step is now much more important. Both states are racing against time. So why have we entered a critical period? Let's examine it together. Ukraine has a very harsh climate. Winter in Ukraine is very cold. There is heavy snowfall and ice everywhere. That's why it is impossible to conduct ground operations in winter. The Ukrainian army is trying to liberate more territory before the snowfall increases. That's why new operations are taking place every day. This is the most intense period of the war. The Ukrainian army is conducting counter-operations on all fronts, trying to end the Russian occupation. The Ukrainian army managed to drive the Russian army east of the Dnipro River. In this way, it gained a great advantage. Due to the Ukrainian army's operations, the Russian army is forced to retreat. This is causing a big organizational problem in the Russian army. Russia is using state institutions in the occupied regions of Ukraine as military housing. But the energy connections to these buildings have been badly damaged by the war. Many buildings cannot be heated due to the explosions in the natural gas infrastructure. This puts the Russian military in a difficult situation. Before the cold weather, the Russian army could quickly change bases in many regions. But now the Russian army has to choose buildings without problems in the natural gas system. This crisis has caused great damage to the Russian army. The Russian army is in trouble with winter. And why is that? Let's take a closer look at what's going on. Since mid-November, it has been getting colder in Ukraine. The Russian soldiers sent to Ukraine had no clothes for winter. Because Russia believed that this war would be very short. But the historic resistance of the Ukrainian army ruined Russia's plans. The Russian army was not sufficiently prepared for winter conditions. The boots and coats in the warehouse of the Russian army were not enough for the soldiers. Especially after 300,000 new soldiers were recruited after the mobilization decision, supply problems increased even more. Dozens of soldiers fell ill at a base in Luhansk. A flu epidemic broke out among the soldiers. Some soldiers got so cold that they developed pneumonia. According to allegations in the Russian press, many soldiers were demobilized due to the aggravation of their illness. However, in addition to these problems, this issue triggered other crises in the Russian army. The actions taken by Russian military personnel significantly altered the trajectory of the conflict. The fact that the Russian soldiers were not provided with winter clothing infuriated them greatly. After numerous conversations with their superiors, the soldiers finally rebelled against their orders. On their social media sites, Russian service members posted pictures of the worn and tattered boots that were provided to them. The Russians were incensed by this news. Because of these issues, which were experienced by the soldiers, millions of Russian citizens voiced their disapproval of Putin's government. The Russian military ultimately came to the conclusion that those soldiers who used social media should be disciplined. On the other hand, this infuriated the Russian soldiers even further. A revolt was sparked by the Russian soldiers. The entire order of the Russian army was thrown into disarray as a result of this mutiny that was started by Russian soldiers. As the number of mutinies increased, some officers were relieved of their duties. The established system of command in the Russian army was thrown into disarray. The influence of winter on the battle did not end there though. Because they did not have enough guns and ammunition, the Russian army provided their soldiers with weaponry that were used during the time of the USSR. Rust covered the majority of these ancient weaponry. It was discovered that these weapons were not immune to water in any way. When it rains, these rusted firearms frequently become inoperable. The Russian military is notorious for its poor performance in battle. After being unable to successfully carry out land operations, the Russian army shifted its focus to air operations. However, Russian aircraft, including planes and helicopters, will not be able to fly if the weather is cold. During the colder months, Russia is unable to make any headway toward its goals. The Ukrainian military is also carrying on with its operations in the hopes of achieving additional successes before the onset of the harsher winter weather. In this conflict, Russia intended to gain a significant advantage over the winter months, and they had a strategy to do it. So what exactly was Russia's strategy? Putin was aware that the winter would bring an end to this war. Because of this, 
He intended to conduct training for the 300,000 men he had recruited after the decision to mobilize during this time period. He intended to put a stop to the inexperience of the Russian army using this method. However, a significant number of the new troops who had been enlisted as a result of the mobilization decision deserted the army. Russian servicemen who were forcibly conscripted into the army as a result of the mobilization decision have raised the white flag and surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Another one of Putin's schemes involved cutting off Ukraine's access to electricity during the colder months. Throughout this conflict, the people of Ukraine have demonstrated remarkable unity. Russia intends to undermine this sense of community. Because if the people of Ukraine rebel, Zelensky will have a tough time performing his duties. On the other hand, the Ukrainian people continue to back both the army and Zelensky. In order to foil Putin's scheme, Zelensky made a very significant action. In order to acquire generators, Zelensky approached Western nations. As a result of this, a number of countries have shipped generators to Ukraine. The majority of Ukraine's energy requirements are currently being satisfied by these plants. The people of Ukraine are confident that they won't have any issues with their heating. Putin faces yet another obstacle during the colder months of the year. The resolution of this issue, according to the experts, will determine the outcome of the conflict. The waters may be reached from almost the whole length of Russia's coastline. The winters are quite harsh in Russia's coastal regions, and the oceans often ice over. Russia is unable to conduct business through certain ports. Utilizing the ports on the Black Sea is Russia's only option for preserving its economic connections with other countries. However, the Ukrainian military has made significant advancements in the Black Sea region. It is essential for Russia to continue its commercial endeavors in the Black Sea. Therefore, it is possible that it will have to endeavor strike a deal with Ukraine. If Russia does not give in to the demands of Ukraine, then Russia will not have unrestricted access to the Black Sea. The Bosphorus is the only connection that the Black Sea has to any other seas in the world. Turkey, a member of NATO, maintains control of the Bosphorus Strait. Turkey and Ukraine have the potential to push Russia to recede and utilize the Black Sea as an alternative. Experts predict that Russia will have to withdraw from even more territory in order to make use of the port located on the Black Sea while winter is in effect. Another decisive victory over Russia will have been achieved by the Ukrainian armed forces. In what ways, in your opinion, will winter affect this war? Do you anticipate any other consequences as a result of this? Do you believe that the upcoming winter will make things simpler for the Ukrainian army? What are your thoughts on the idea that Western countries would be providing generators to Ukraine? What do you believe the outcome of this conflict will be between Russia and Ukraine? Please share your thoughts with us. Follow us for more updates.